Hello, I have a big problem, a Chrome extension problem. I have over 30 Chrome extensions, 32 to be exact, and I don't always use all of them. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the top 10 Chrome extensions that will help increase your productivity and help you work through things much quicker. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Mikey and I'm a pre-med student here in Canada. Now, the first Chrome extension we're gonna be talking about is one called Workona. Now, Workona is essentially a Chrome extension that helps you organize all your tabs into groups. So I'm a tab hoarder. I use a lot of tabs. I usually have a lot of tabs open on multiple different windows, but I usually forget about a lot of them. So this Chrome extension is really cool because it allows you to organize them based on groups and it helps you give them their own titles. So for example, let's say you have 40 YouTube links open or 30 YouTube links open for God knows whatever reason you have 40 YouTube links open. You could essentially organize all of those tabs into YouTube. So instead of having multiple tabs open at the top, you can essentially have a section that says YouTube, you click on it and it'll show you all the tabs that you have currently right now open. Now what's also really cool about it and what I actually use it a lot for is let's say I have an assignment or I have a specific task I'm working on. I can organize all the links that I need into a workspace. So if I'm researching a bunch of articles and maybe I have the rubric on the side, I have a bunch of links, maybe let's say four or five, I can organize it into a workspace. Let's say for example, it's an English essay. I organize it into a workspace. So if I don't finish my work today, I can come back to it tomorrow and I simply click on the workspace and it'll open it all for me. Everything is always safe to the cloud. So you can essentially always close your desktop and then you can open it again and come back straight to where you left off. Now the next Chrome extension we're gonna talk about is one called Noisily. I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing it correctly. Most likely I'm not. But essentially this Chrome extension is very effective when you're trying to get work done and you wanna have some ambient noise. So sometimes people like having white noise. Sometimes people like having um, a classical music playlist. And this Chrome extension allows you to essentially integrate that already into Chrome so you can have it playing in the background. It already comes pre-installed with a bunch of playlists and you can essentially choose from them really, really quickly. And it just has a very great selection of music and noise that you can listen to while getting work done. And you know, it's also nice to just have things going around in the background. Like personally, I used to go study a lot at Starbucks. So now that I can't go to Starbucks anymore because of the pandemic, essentially what I have to do is use noise. And although it doesn't make me feel like I'm at Starbucks, it's much better than just not, you know, listening to any music while you're studying. Now the next Chrome extension we're gonna talk about is actually not a Chrome extension. It's more of a website and it's called I Love PDF. Now I use this website a lot when I'm trying to convert PDFs into PowerPoints, PowerPoints into PDFs. Um, when I'm trying to break up PowerPoints so sometimes I don't wanna have a whole PowerPoint, I could break it up and organize it into one PDF. It's a bunch of things that you could do relating to PDFs into one area. And I found a lot of sites that actually do this, but this site organizes everything into one area. So let's say you just finished the Microsoft Word document and you wanna convert it to PDF, you can easily do that using this website or let's say you have a PDF document that you want to convert to Microsoft Word and that you could actually start using the search function on it command F searching everything Adobe does offer that but it's paid and obviously no one wants to pay for that stuff if you use I love PDF it actually does convert it and you could actually command F the information that's on the PDF in a Word document so that's why I wanted to include it in this list now the next Chrome extension is Grammarly. Now I know you probably heard about Grammarly a lot on YouTube or you've seen ads online, but Grammarly is actually really, really good. And no, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but they are actually a very, very good app. When I'm formatting emails and when I'm trying to send emails to, you know, I don't know, professors or to people where I wanna make sure that it's looking like I'm really, really mature and I'm very respectable. I always wanna make sure I'm using Grammarly because it does actually help create a good structure for your email or for any messages you're sending. And it's a very, very good grammar corrector and I personally found that it saved me a lot of misspellings and would have made me look really bad if I didn't use it. Now the next app is called uBlock Origin. Now this app is essentially an ad blocker, but it's not 100% ad blocker. It removes all the ads from your page. Sometimes, very rarely, sometimes there are ads placed on pages like Google, Facebook, um, any other website that have virus in them, that have malware inside of them, and they will actually ruin your computer, ruin the processing system, and you don't want that. By downloading this Chrome extension, first of all, it will remove all those ads. So it always checks for any ads that will affect your processing system, and it will remove any ads that are essentially useless on the page. So let's say you go to a page that has like 40 ads. Well, of course you don't need 40 ads, but it'll essentially remove probably around like 60% of them to make the page look good without it being cluttered with all these different ads. So I would recommend you honestly download it and turn it on. That's basically all you have to do. And it works very, very well. Now the next Chrome extension we're gonna talk about is voice and voice typing. Now I actually use this a lot when I'm trying to jot down ideas and I don't really have 
um, you know, I have an idea in my head and I wanna make sure I get it down really, really quickly. By using this method, you essentially can speak what you're saying and the computer will convert it into text. So let's say you wanna send a text message to someone, a really long one, you could speak it and the computer will type it. Let's say you wanna, you know, type things up on Google Docs or on Microsoft Word and you, you know, you don't wanna type it out, you know, because that's gonna take too much time. You can essentially speak it and the computer will type it. Same thing, I use this a lot when I'm trying to jot down ideas or notes even for my classes. And now I don't use this Chrome extension a lot, but I like having it there for me because if I ever do wanna use it, I do have the option of ever using it at any time basically. Now the next Chrome extension we're gonna talk about is XMind. Now XMind is essentially a mind map that you could create by yourself. It helps create really unique and really creative diagrams that are very, very organized. So let's say you're creating a diagram for you know something at work or something at school and you wanna make it look really, really elegant, really, really nice. Using XMind is my top recommendation that I would say to use because it helps things look very, very professional. Let's say you're talking about the nervous system. You have the autonomous nervous system, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system. You have a bunch of different categories that you could split things up on and XMind helps it very, very nice and very, very neat. Now I talked about XMind actually in one of my previous videos on the iPad showing exactly how you can make those diagrams either on your computer or on your iPad. And if you ever do send those files to your computer and you wanna open it on Google Chrome, this extension XMind essentially helps you do that. Now the next app is something called Clockify. This app is pretty cool because it basically gives you all the stats of your computer. So you know how on your iPhone or on your iPad or, or your laptop, you have in your settings where it says time spent on your computer or your iPad. This is essentially the exact same thing, but it's the time spent on each specific website on Google Chrome. And it could actually give you notifications saying, oh, you've been on the site for too long. Let's say you're watching Netflix too long. It could give you a notification or it could send you a reminder saying, okay, now it's time to take a break because you know, you've been going at it for a really, really long time. And it's all just generally really cool and really great with its stats. And it's nice to have, and it's nice to see how long you're spending on specific websites. I actually found that I spend so much time on Facebook watching Facebook videos and this extension and help show me that I basically, you know, like I really need to get a life and I need to stop using Facebook so much and I should actually get work done. Now, although Clockify has a Pomodoro timer on it, I personally like using the app called Marinara, like marinara sauce for your spaghetti. Now, if you don't know what Pomodoro is, it's essentially how you space out the work you're getting done throughout the day, essentially to stop procrastination. So you essentially work 25 minutes, then you take a five minute break, work another 25 minutes, work a five minute break, or you could set it up where you do 45 minutes of work, then 15 minute break. And this is a computer extension or an iPhone app or an iPad app. There's a bunch of different resources that can help you organize your time and organize, you know, doing this Pomodoro session. I personally like using Marinara because it's just really clean with the way that it works and it's super easy to use and it's inserted inside Chrome. So you don't really have to open a different app. You don't have to do anything else. Everything is already inside there so you can get as much work done as possible while minimizing all the distractions. Now the next Chrome extension we're gonna talk about is something called Momentum. And Momentum is really great because it helps you basically edit your Chrome home screen. You could essentially change the background. You could add your own to-do list so the tasks you wanna get done today. So let's say, you know, I don't know, upload YouTube video, edit second YouTube video, respond to comments. You essentially create the tasks you wanna do on a daily basis so you could see them straight up right in front of you. You could also add the weather, change how the clock looks. Now you could also add motivational quotes so that anytime you're having a bad day, you always see that motivational quote. And it helps you get through you know, the tough day because we all have these tough and stressful days. So that's why I would recommend Momentum is probably the ultimate extension that I think everybody should download because it applies to any members of any population. And that basically concludes our video. I tried to make it as short as possible so you guys can get as much information in as little time as possible. If you did enjoy it, like this video, subscribe as well because it does help me out a lot. Feel free to subscribe anyways, even if you didn't like the video because it's free. But anyways, take care and take it easy.